Hey, welcome back to another episode of What's Your Next. And today we have got a really, really great topic. That is understanding AI and its role in franchising. Welcome to What's Your Next. This is the go-to podcast for aspiring business owners who want to get to the next level, escape the rat race, and give their middle finger to the corporate nine to five. If you want financial freedom, work-life balance, and the business of your dreams, you're in the right place. Dave and Stacy Riska, husband-wife franchising duo, openly share their successes, failures, and lessons learned in franchising, business ownership, and working with your spouse. And this is really going to end up being a three-part series like some of our previous ones. We've had multiple parts. This is part one of three. And we're going to dive in today and talk a little bit about what is AI. I mean, what is AI as far as the definition before we dive into what it means to franchising? And AI is really referring to artificial intelligence in machines that are programmed to learn like humans. So it's machine learning and it's the it's the byproduct of the machine learning in the, in the forms of things like data analysis, automation, automated attendance, and really making powerful tools for efficiency. So overall, that's the concept of AI. And according to a uh, article, which we'll share with you um, from Franchise World, AI, the software market, is expected to reach $126 billion by the year 2025. That is a very large number. And to me, that number may even be low. Artificial intelligence is being adopted at such a rapid rate as far as technology goes compared to some previous technologies that it might even ramp up faster than that. So, so what are some of the trends from this article, one of the trends was, you know, franchises and using the data from AI to evaluate things like return on investment. You know, how, how does AI, you know, accumulate the data, particularly item 19, and how can that be used to average out maybe through your whole franchise network and, you know, make or possibly provide some type of manageable way to produce an ROI for across your whole entire franchise system. So that's probably one of the ways that we'll see it be used. You know, one of the key trends is that franchises need to use AI to stay competitive. It's obviously the big corporations are adopting it at a very rapid rate. They're in, in, implementing it already in their businesses, as you can tell. And the franchise industry needs to make sure that they bring this into their management as well. And then I think it'll lead to a lot of new new evolution in franchising going forward, meaning bottom-up trends. You're going to be able to see information that at one point in time was difficult to get. It's very going to be very easy to go out and find this information and be able to really help make bottom-up decisions in, in a franchise organization. So it's there's many ways that this will be probably used. These are just some of them. There's going to be way more. It's a br very broad topic as a whole, and we'd love to hear your feedback uh, when this episode is over. But I'm going to start with a question about how AI is impacting those who might be considering investing in a franchise. And one of the things that I wanted to share with you, which I found extraordinarily interesting, is that a lot of our candidates now are coming to us knocking on the door saying, hey, we've got 10 franchises here that we got from ChatGPT. You know, that these are the franchises for the pet care industry. So I was like, okay, that's interesting. A lot of these franchises I recognize. Many of these are franchises that we already work with. So it was kind of nice to see that being on the top 10 list. So I decided to do a little experiment and I ran the same exact searches in ChatGPT and in Gemini. And what you'll see is the results between these two artificial intelligence tools were very, very different. Now, what does that mean? Okay. To me, that means that, first off, these tools are way in their infancy. So you would expect 
that if you ask that question to two different AIs, that you might get a, a list of results that are maybe five or six of them are similar, but in this case, very few of them are similar, as you can see from the results here. So when you're using this as a tool, I think you need to realize that that's all that it is. It really is a tool. It's not going to really help you pick a franchise that meets your needs, but it might be a good way to start for you to know, you know, which franchises are even in some of the industries that you might even be interested in. Beyond that, you know, if you're getting two different lists from two different services, you're going to get information overload trying to research and track down all the information, all these ones. That's number one. And number two is that these, these tools rely on the information that have been fed into it. And what we know is that in franchising on the internet, there's a lot of disinformation, <laughs> meaning that it's not real. <laughs> so you got to be really careful, I think, when you use these two tools exclusively for any kind of <laughs> you know, business or, or personal decisions without you know, fact-checking the, the actual results. So let's move forward a little bit here. And I want to elaborate on that and have Stacy share an example of a candidate that recently came you know, to us that had done exactly what I had just said. I'd gone out and you know, basically researched the industry they were in interested in. So Stacy, can you share that a little bit with our listeners? Yeah, so just like Dave had the example of 10 best pet franchises, and he did the comparison of ChatGPT versus Gemini and came back with different results. Well, not surprising because what defines best and how is these AI tools even getting the information? So I had a candidate that reached out. We had been in discussions for some time and he finally raised his hand and he said, I'm ready. I really want to look at a franchise in the staffing industry. Oh, and by the way, I already did my homework. I put it in ChatGPT. Here's the 10 that I want to look at. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there you go. A perfect example. So I get it. That's why, as Dave was saying, people are going out there and believing everything that's out there on the Internet. So what's the rule number one, Dave? Don't do it. Right. Don't do it. <laughs> So second is you're likely going to do it anyways, but realize that it's just a tool. So on the positive side, I'm glad that the candidate was doing some research, came back to me with some options, but that actually is the benefit of working with someone like Dave and I as your franchise consultant, because we know a lot about the franchises. We know a lot about the industry. When you're looking, let's say, either at a pet franchise or something in the staffing industry, you couldn't possibly know which one is best. And so by working with someone like us, we're gonna help you get through the clutter, throw out the disinformation, and only focus on the few that are really gonna meet your needs. Because yes, you may come back with a top 10 list of pet franchises, or staffing franchises, but that doesn't mean they're a good match for you, right, Dave? Absolutely right. I mean, we really need to make sure that we understand your why. You know, what what is it that is making you want to own a business? Because there's different businesses to meet those whys. And I'm certain that when you're doing just a straight generic search like that, it's not even factoring in anything like that uh, when it's returning its results. Even if you put it in there, it probably wouldn't come back with results that made sense in some cases. So, that being said, you know, I don't want to make AI sound like this horrible thing. How might um, franchise buyers uh, benefit or what might be some of the benefits of, of AI using AI for a franchise, you know, somebody looking to acquire a franchise? Yeah, I think this is an exciting time and AI is a reason that you should look at a franchise because as Dave was saying in the article, AI, a lot of the good franchisors out there are investing in it now. If you're thinking of going out yourself as a small independent solopreneur, small business owner, there is no possible way you're going to be able to know all of the AI tools, invest in them, test them, train them, implement them, know how to make them work to optimize your business. So the benefit of a franchise is you don't have to be an expert in AI. But we are seeing some of the top franchises really start to use and leverage it. It's going to help you as a franchise owner streamline your operations, really understand the data, 
become really efficient at your marketing. Know your KPIs and the metrics and see the market trends that are happening. And it's also gonna help you optimize the customer experience. So you as a franchise owner, AI can bring you many benefits. All right, so those are some of the benefits. A lot of them seem to be you know, wrapped around once they become a franchise owner that you know they'll be able to use AI in depth in their operations and the franchisors will be using that in their operations. And of course, there are probably some benefits to them doing some initial research using you know the AI tools that are out there today. What are some of the potential concerns that you mm-hmm. have about using AI as a franchise buyer? Yeah, everybody's talking about the benefits, but what about the other side? I mean, there's going to be data privacy concerns, um, the costs of implementing the technology, how to know if the information that you're getting really is correct, like Dave was comparing ChatGPT versus Gemini. So there are a lot of concerns around this, and I think that the laws, the rules, the regulations about this really haven't been thought through yet. No, I don't I don't think so either. It's so new and it's evolving so quickly that it's ju- it, it's apparent that they're just starting to scratch the surface on how to you know, I, I hate to use the term legalize AI, but how to, you know, kind of control it a little bit and and monitor it a little bit so that it doesn't become something that people rely on, you know, 100% for almost anything. Like I said, I was really kind of shocked when I ran those two searches and I got results that, uh, to me, I mean, I were entirely different, you know, between the two. If I'm a buyer, I'm like totally confused. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So be careful. You know, we're not saying don't use it. You know, maybe it's good for some initial high level research. But I think the biggest thing is you really need to understand that it's a tool to augment this process, okay? It's not a tool to be used for this process because there's so many subjective factors into picking a franchise that's right for our candidates. And the biggest one is what are they trying to accomplish? What is their why? And I don't think any AI at this point is ready to give them that information. Agreed. All right, so we are... Kind of wrapping this up today on the topic of really using AI as a potential buyer of a franchise. We're going to go into a couple additional uh, deep dives more into how AI is being used by franchisors and how AI as the tool is going to change and, and migrate over time. So that's it for today's episode. We hope you liked our content today. If you did, like, subscribe. The algorithms like it when you do that. It helps us out. It helps us want to bring you more content like this. And we will catch you on the next episode of What's Your Next.